Welcome back to the bar. And this is uh, the Gentleman Grachowski Show. And again, we're here at Harrigan's in Halstead, 2816 North Halstead. And uh, head bartender here, Tony Stoughton. Welcome, Tony. Oh, thank you. Thanks for coming, Larry. Well, Tony, tell us about how you have got uh, started in bartending. Uh, I started working as a bar back when I was 14, and so I then discovered Wait, that... Wait, 14? Yeah, and uh, well, in Ireland, they don't really enforce the law over there, so... Well, you're not from Chicago? Uh, no, no. I thought just you was Lower East Side or something yeah, East like that. Chicago, yeah, just East of New York. Okay. So you, as a 14-year-old, you was in a bar. They let you in bars in Ireland, huh? Uh, yeah, when you're working there, clean up the toilets, you know, uh, helping out, getting the beverages. What, what training did you need to be a bar back? Uh, you had to go to the school of life, you know. Yeah. Yeah. When you're 14, you're dealing with grown, kicking grown men out of the bar. You kind of you learn things real fast, like, you know. A bar back's a bar, like a bouncer. No, but it's just there's no one there, you know. They don't have any staff. They only have like maybe one or two people working there. Okay. So then, as a bartender, how did you? Uh, what training did you have for that? Uh, my background. I actually went to hotel. Uh, my background is in hotel management, so that's where I kind of got stuck into it. So uh, between working it and actually going to school, so that's kind of how I got into it. Oh, wow. And uh, what are the duties, the behind the scenes duties of a bartender that people may not know about? Uh, ordering, uh, keeping everything up to stock, uh, keeping the place clean. Um, a lot of people want to have the party, they don't want to clean up, so you gotta, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know, there's a lot that goes into Nobody wants up. to clean up after their party? Yeah, really, right? Oh, so I don't have to be cleaning my table when I'm done anymore, No, like right? when you come in, Larry, and you've had your 15, uh, Slains and sodas, you know, you're, uh, we'll make sure all your glasses are nice and clean for it, you. For it the looks next clean time. when I leave. I thought I cleaned up. I'm sorry. It yeah, happens yeah, sometimes. Good. Yeah, it always looks nice. And what have right. you learned about people being a bartender? Uh, people just want to have a good time, you know, yeah. they just want to have fun. Yeah. They want to let their hair down. They want to forget about the troubles. They want to have a party, man. They want to have a woo. You can't know? beat that. You know? Now, you got to, you're going to make a drink for us today. Yeah, right? we're making a classic Irish drink. It's called the Irish Coffee. It's starting to get real popular again. Uh, we're using uh, Slain Triple Cast Irish Whiskey. There we go, a little bit of whiskey for you. So. Now Slane, tell us about Slane Irish whiskey. Uh, Slane is made in, uh, it's made on the grounds of Slane Castle, which is uh, 45 minutes north of Dublin city. Uh, it is a wonderful uh, triple cast Irish whiskey. So it's made in a castle, so it's like a royalty beer or something like that, right? Uh, it is, uh, Alex Coyningham is the founder, and uh, it's, uh, it's wonderful whiskey. So you just basically took some uh, Slane Irish whiskey, you put some coffee in there, uh, and yeah. that's it, right? A little bit of whipped cream. Whipped cream, all right. Not Cool Whip. Whipped cream. Uh, if you're at home, if you're making this at home, yeah, you can use Cool Whip too if you want. Because I'm a big fan of uh, the Cool Whip. I think especially this time of year, nothing comes, nothing is better. You know, put a Cool Whip on anything. I put it on the bologna sandwiches sometimes. You know, I mean, the bologna is sometimes, usually it's a phony bologna. Well, I just like to add a little bit of chocolate for a bit of fun. Well, that uh, looks fun, yeah. To make it a little bit more fun, so... Uh, Get a nice piece of chocolate. And, uh, what's, what do you think there the, we go. the Cheers, resurgence? Thank you. Cheers. What do you think the resurgence of the Irish whiskey is? Uh, it's uh, it's a fun drink. It's really approachable. It's uh, easy to drink, and uh, you get some uh, a nice piece of chocolate with that. It's a real nice uh, kind of afternoon winter drink. It is definitely easy to drink. I, I, I'll give you that. Um, tell us about the bond between a bartender and uh, the customer. Well, I like to consider myself the uh, lowest paid mental health professional. <laughs> and uh, as your doctor, I've got to increase your prescription. You know, uh -oh. and by prescription, I mean whiskey. So. Yes, and the best whiskey is obviously the Slain Irish whiskey. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a new, uh, it's a new star. Watch out for this guy, he's, going, he's coming up. Now, is every, uh, is every, every um, like whiskey, they're, they're all, they all like made the same way, right, basically? Uh, no, uh, they're all made differently. You've got really? like, so if you're in the US here, if you go down to bourbon country, it's made from corn. If you go to Ireland, it's made from barley. Wow. Uh, you get whiskey made from rye, if you go up to Canada. Uh, so kind of, it's interesting. A lot of the techniques are similar, but it's uh, it's made basically where, basically where the best local source is. Right, that's unbelievable. It's just amazing, like they just, you know, it's alcohol, but yet it's everything is made differently. Different uh, ingredients. It just depends where you go. You know, when you go to Chicago, people like to drink uh, uh, Malort and so on, wormwood liqueur, and then uh, you go to Ireland, <laughs> people like to drink Irish whiskey. You know. <laughs> okay, and does every drink have the same formula when it's being made? No, like, everything's different. So there's no like everything's got to have a three quarter of this, a half no, an ounce there, of this. No, traditionally you could say that, but no, nowadays it's whatever you like. If you pay for it, you can have a good time. Do I like extra. You want. I like. Yeah. I, I definitely like a little bit Just, more. Uh, drink responsibly. Just be safe and have a good time. Now, how do you remember as a bartender? You remember every uh, recipe? Uh, practice. 
Yeah. Right. And also, when you're busy, you know, when uh, you're three deep on a Friday, it's real easy to remember. You'll remember how to make a Vegas bomb after you've made like 50 of them. You'll be able oh, to remember. You. All right. We're at 2816 North Halstead. We're at Harrigan's. Harrigan's Irish Pub. Tony Stoughton is behind me. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with some more questions for Tony. Sound good, Tony? All right. Thanks, Ryan. All right, buddy. Thank you.